What's up, Paxers? I have received a new PCB in the mail from Oshpark. This is the new PER module, although right now it says haptic pad. <laughs> I designed it for use with companion bots so that if you want yours to purr, then you can use this to mount four vibration motors inside of it. It's one of my first flex PCBs, and it's got a design of a bee on it because, of course, little buzzy motors. And it's set up so that you should be able to drive two sets of motors in parallel from five volts. You can also cut it in half and have just one set of motors if you like. Anyway, let's put one together and see if it works. I'm gonna solder fast because the Flex PCB can warp under too much heat. I'm attaching a sacrificial 5 volt USB cable for power, but I may end up powering this directly from the robot, or through a transistor. It really just depends on how much power I want to give it. Either way, I'll code for different patterns to emulate purring. Wow, that is, that is powerful. That is almost too powerful. Um, but inside of the body of a robot, this actually may be just right. That's incredibly powerful. It works. <laughs> well, I consider this a complete success, and I can't wait to use it in my robot in a more toned down sort of way. <laughs> Hack on.